very good evening my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking so actually i have an announcement to say regarding the forex signals group uh, we have decided me and angela that we are gonna take one week off from the signals to refresh our minds and actually to take a rest now the reason behind this decision is angela is actually living a nightmare of pressures and it is actually because of the uh, tons of messages that she is receiving not only that but also she's living a lot of pressure because of the i mean imagine what she's doing she's sending the signals she's watching them to decide if they should be closed in small loss or not meanwhile some of the members really keep sending her messages over and over and over they never stop they want to chat with her uh, that is actually distracting Angela. The problem here is some of these members actually they don't realize that by sending negative messages to Angela, they are only distracting her from the signals. She is not focusing on the signals. She goes because she's busy replying to them. That is actually affecting our signals. And the sad thing is some of these members, they don't realize that they are not the only one sending her. If you log into Telegram of Angela, you will be really shocked by the amount of messages she received, especially during when, when a signal fails. I mean, I'm really shocked to see these amount of messages. I mean, okay, there is a lot of people actually very um, understanding and very kind who are really supporting her, but th there are always one of th some of these people actually keep attacking Angela if one signal goes, goes in loss. He keep harassing her, he keep insulting her, and he keep uh, taking her down because he's angry about the signal. I mean, what are you doing? You are only affecting her badly. You are shattering her, you are distracting her. And in the end, you are the one who getting, you are the one who paying for it, right? So Angela decided that she will take a week leave. And once she come back, I really encourage everyone in the premium group, leave Angela alone during sending the signals. Please don't distract her. If you see that the signal is going uh, in loss, saying anything to Angela is not going to help you, is not going to recover uh, any losses. The only way to recover the losses is to keep or so to leave Angela alone. Don't distract her from sending the signals. Please let her focusing only on the signals, nothing more. So for that reason, I decided to let her go for a week to refresh and to be stronger than ever before. So uh therefore we we actually have sent this uh announcement that if anyone have joined the signals uh, group during the, uh, the period from 8 august until 16 august they can actually get one free week added to their membership so that is the offer we had and hopefully is gonna make uh, some recovering for everyone who want to join the premium group premium group during this period so in the end if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so moving on now to the weekly analysis and of course the first thing we need to analyze first and i'm doing this because this is this is educational channel i want to first analyze the us dollar index currency and then after that we're gonna analyze the whole market now looking at the us dollar actually the dollar does not really have enough strength to break out from the resistance on 94. let me explain to you what's happening here uh, the dollar is facing a very strong support level on 92 point 58 all right so most likely as we can see we had here double bottom the dollar has make uh, has made actually two attempts to break out from the support level however the bouncing was really strong it was powerful so we are having right here a strong key support level but however uh, in my opinion uh, the dollar is going to continue the rise a little bit more it's going to hit this previous support level and then it's going to continue the rise until it retests the broken re oh, sorry it, it gets, it's going to retest the resistance on 94 after that in my opinion the dollar has not enough strength to continue the rise and to break the resistance and therefore it's going to continue the fall now actually what happening is uh, we before had the commercial war between United States and China, but however, we recently have started the tech war. And what is the tech war? It is right now the technical war between USA and China as well. And as we can see, Mr. Trump has just signed the 
uh, banning for some of these uh, Chinese apps such as TikTok and some other softwares. In my opinion, that might be giving uh, some push to the dollar. However, it's going to be just a small pullback, uh, like, like a correction or just a, a small boost to go up and hit the resistance level. However, because of the pandemic uh, of coronavirus in the United States and the horrific numbers of the unemployment uh, rates and uh, the rising of the gold, I really cannot imagine the dollar can be able to break from the resistance on 94. Therefore, it's going to actually continue the fall after hitting the resistance. That being said, we need right now to, based on that, to analyze our chart on the uh, uh, other, other currencies. So let's start right now with the Euro USD. Now for the Euro USD this week, actually I'm going to be very careful sending the signals because actually we need to send them scalping signals. As I said, we're really not sure what will going to happen after the dollar index is going to hit the resistance on 94. We are just assuming that it's going to reverse and fall down. However, however, we have to wait and see what will going to happen because this is going to be actually a critical position for the dollar. Now again, that being said, this week we can expect from the Euro USD to actually rise a little bit more, hit the previous broken support level on 1.18010 and we can see that it was also right here a strong key support level and also not to mention it was a resistance. So most likely what will gonna happen, that resistance right here is gonna actually keep its position as a resistance again and at that point we can start the short or the sell. So the sell for this week on the Euro USD is going to start on 1.18010. Write that. Guys, by the way, did you guys see the, the weekly analysis I have sent or the midweek analysis that I have sent last week? Man, it was all in profit. If you have missed it, I really feel sorry for you. <laughs> Just had to say that. Sorry. All right. So that being said, <clears throat> Uh, the tech profit level is going to be decided exactly at that previous support level. Let me just uh, decrease the tech profit level. It's not realistic in my opinion. As I said, my friends, this week the signals are going to be actually like a scalping signals. So we are just going to scalp the market because we really cannot be sure what will going to happen this week for the dollar. I think on the midweek analysis video, I'm going to actually make uh, make the correction or actually make the continuation and I'm going to send the new analysis based on what will going to happen with the US dollar. Now, again, uh, we can sell the dollar on this level. Did I say 10? Holy. 10. One point. Okay, that's correct right now. 1.180810. Uh, and the take profit level is going to be given on 1.7. Sorry. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my, my hands. 7443. Correct? Yes. And for the safe zone this week, actually, since we are looking for a small, small take profit, I think. It's going to be only 57 pips. So the, the zone, the safe zone is going to be actually small this week. It's going to be ranging, I think, for like 20 pips only. Exactly. Only for 20 pips. I think uh, some of you really like that. But however, I really don't like it. It's not safe at all. However, I really doubt that the dollar is going to be, uh, the euro dollar is going to be able to break out from that previous support level. Most likely it's going to rise retest the broken support and that resistance definitely is going to be respected and remain resistance here. It's going to keep its position and then the euro dollar is going to continue to fall and hit our take profit level. Now moving to the pound USD. Now the pound USD as we can see we had oh, we had right here a broken support level with this strong bearish candle bearish bearish breakout candle and we had right here on the left also another resistance. So what's, 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 what's going to happen recently, or actually most likely it's going to happen, is the pound USD is actually going to bounce a little bit more up, hit that previous resistance and also the previous support, and then it's going to continue the fall all the way to hit the previous strong key support level on 1.3091. Now, let me tell you something. Um, the price action here is actually strong. 
and we can see there is a strong rejection on breaking out from the support level therefore uh, the pound USD in general in my opinion is gonna go up however that's not gonna happen right away I think this support level has already been retested and we can see that the candle has already reversed on the one hour chart and therefore I think we can expect on Monday opening for the market to immediately fall down to hit that previous support level the problem here is that previous support level is gonna be my take profit level the reason is as I said uh, most likely the pound USD is gonna continue the rise but we are not really sure how the dollar is gonna react to the uh, current level that being said let's go to the 30 minute time frame and let me just adjust uh, this entry to be right here so our only hope right now actually is on Monday morning uh, if the pound USD is gonna continue the rise a little bit more retest the broken resistance and then continue the fall and that's gonna be our take profit level because actually I think from that point there is a highly chance that the pound USD is gonna reverse but again I'm not gonna send the signal of, of the buy until the midweek analysis video and maybe I will send at that time so we need for we need to wait for the pound USD to rise for almost like 12 or 13 pips before we start shorting it therefore we can start shorting the pound USD on 1.30623 and the safe zone is actually gonna be small as well look at that I'm actually looking here we are having right here a resistance level and my safe zone is gonna be ranging inside that resistance zone because I simply don't think the pair is gonna be able to break out of it so the safe zone is gonna be ranging for man this is really nice I mean guys I'm sure you like it uh, 18 pips only but for me I don't like it by the way <laughs> I don't like this small uh, range at all it's really not safe however uh, that's the signal that I can see happening uh, that is the thing I can see valid uh, at the moment I don't see any wrong uh, making these uh, small uh, zones so this is gonna be our take profit level for the go for the pound USD we're gonna make the take profit level exactly at that previous support level so we can look for almost 53 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna get them all moving on now to the uh, AUD USD AUD USD as we can see my friends it has made the reversal on the strong key support level on 0 0.71447 and most likely it's gonna continue to rise a little bit more to hit the previous resistance level and then from that point it's gonna continue the fall again uh, it has to retest the broken support on 0.71203 and I think uh, the pair this week after seeing this double, uh, du double top pattern we can expect from the pair to actually continue the fall therefore AUD USD is for the sell on 0 0.71809 and the safe zone is not gonna be small like the, oh, it's gonna be a small as well <laughs> it's gonna be small as well uh, and I'm just looking at the resistance level exactly right here so the safe zone is gonna be ranging for almost 27 pips only remember I'm sending this week uh, what you can say like a scalping signals because the market as I said is really hard very hard to predict to predict this week all right so the take profit level is gonna be given on 0 0.71203 and hopefully guys we are gonna make some good profits out of this signal moving on now to the USD CAD the USD CAD is actually rising now and we can see the strong bullish momentum and I think it's gonna keep it all the way until it hit the strong key resistance level on 1.34204 now that being said um, we can see that here we are having a resistance level that resistance after the bearish breakout candle is gonna keep its position as a resistance and I think the pair is gonna fall a little bit more to hit the previous support on 1.33719 then from that point we are gonna actually start buying the uh, pair again and this is gonna be our take profit level exactly on the previous resistance so we can expect from the AUD sorry from the USD CAD to fall for almost another like I think 13 pips only so we can start by the USD CAD on 1.33719 and the safe zone is gonna be ranging inside this previous support level 
exactly by the way my eyes is looking here and right here so these are the previous support levels and the safe zone is gonna be ranging for also 20 pips as well let me just now draw the safe zone and the take profit level is gonna be given on 1.34204 so hopefully also you guys are gonna make some really good profit out of this signal now for the USDGPY. USDGPY is different from other pairs. We cannot analyze it like the DXY because actually this is the, the USDGPY we're talking about. So it's actually the whole action, is, is the whole mainstream is happening here about the United States and China. So from my point of view, the dollar is actually gonna fall a little bit more to hit the broken, sorry, to hit yes, the previous support level or the previous strong key support level on 105.586 after that USDGPY is going to be good for the buy we can buy the pair exactly on that support level and keep the resistance until uh, we can keep the trade running until it hit the resistance on 106.475 I want to remind you guys I'm analyzing this week based on the 30 minute time frame please don't forget that keep it in mind uh, all of the analysis happening this week is on the 30 minute time frame so don't think this is like the four hour chart or the daily candles uh, these uh, these signals I'm sending I think they are gonna be activated really quickly on Monday opening so that being said also uh, USDGPY for the buy on 105.586 let me see the safe zone it's gonna be ranging for yes until it hit that previous support it's gonna be covering this whole support level so we are looking for only 27 pips of the safe zone just like that and we are looking for a take profit of almost 90 pips hopefully we are gonna make it all so the take profit for the GPY, uh, USD GPY is 106.475 so hopefully this signal is gonna work as well and we will gonna make some good profits out of it now USDCHF USDCHF is I think is gonna continue the fall until it hit the previous support level on 0 0.9118 and after that it's gonna fall actually for almost like only 13 pips and after that it's gonna continue the rise to hit the previous strong key resistance level on 0.91652 that being said as well we can start buying the USDCHF on 0.9118 and the take profit level is gonna be given on 0.91652 and the safe zone this time is gonna be ranging until the lower of that previous support level right here so we are, we are talking about almost 30 pips of the safe zone let me just draw the line on it like that perfect I really don't think the pair is gonna fall below that uh, below below my buy uh, level however that is the signal and hopefully it's gonna work very well now the gold the gold is actually very confusing right now because as I said we are now swimming in the uncharted water the gold has really made the, the full breakout from the price of 2000 that is history being made in front of our eyes and actually um, we need to prepare now for what will gonna happen for the gold now for the gold in my opinion the gold is gonna continue the rise uh, however uh, I think this week the gold is gonna be ranging uh, it's not really gonna make a strong movement because as I said um, the gold right now is moving based on the weakness of the US dollar however the dollar is not as weak as it used to be the dollar is right now making some small recovery it's making a correction however uh, these corrections cannot hold for long time uh, the bad numbers and the bad news we are receiving regarding the US dollar is really controlling the gold and as I said uh, this not gonna hold for a long time that being said what we are gonna do actually with the gold this week now as I mentioned the gold is only good for the buy I'm not gonna sell the gold at all that's insane now the question is where we can start actually buying the gold let me tell you something here 
now as we can see the gold is right now facing a resistance number one and resistance number two as well on 2041 and 2034 now we want to be safe right and therefore if we want to really make a big score we just have to, let me go to the 50 minute time frame exactly we just have to wait for the gold actually to reach the perfect perfect buy uh, buy level and in my opinion the perfect level for the buy for the gold is going to be exactly right here when it retests the broken support level on 2024 from that point we can actually start buying the gold and in that if that if that happens we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit the resistance on 2064 the gold has made this historical uh, rise and it hit 2075 however uh, it's not gonna actually con uh, it's not gonna stop definitely the gold is gonna continue the rise after hitting that previous support level if you want my honest opinion i think the gold is gonna continue the rise right away but however, I really hate giving a continuation signals. That being said, I'm going to give it only for uh, the pullback if the pair is going to make a correction and fall to hit the previous support level on 2024.93. In my opinion, that's really going to be the safest level to start buying the gold. And we can keep the trade running, as I said, until it hit the previous resistance level on 2062 so we can look for almost 372 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna make them so the tech profit is gonna be on 2062.20 and the sales zone is gonna be ranging inside this support zone for uh, for almost 80 pips unfortunately yeah uh, gold is different guys not not like the other pairs when we are saying 80 pips on other pairs, it's really a lot. However, for gold, this is like one day of profit. So these are the signals that, by the way, let me just go to the four hour chart and confirm. Definitely, yes. Definitely, I have really no doubt at all that the gold is going to be uh, a good signal that we're going to have this week. So again, guys, I really hope uh, it's going to be a very good week and uh, very profitable for everyone. And in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.